Hello everyone, Jeffrey Kruger here. I'm showing you the adapter that I made to adapt. I've got three different dividing plates that cover a range of divisions that will work for most any clock or watch gears that I'll be making and and I've done this before on a different lathe and different plates that I made for um, a different clock that I built and uh, as you can see I've been getting a motor mounted on here and different accessories and I'm building this lathe up to do an, another project so so far I have uh, been able to get the the dividing for making gears out of the way on this lathe and I still have to adapt the milling attachment and make the pulley system to the motor that I showed you in the last video um, to run the milling attachment to cut the gears as well as making the gear cutters and uh, but anyways I'll just give you a quick look at my adapter that I just finished up yesterday and how that works works pretty much like the last one I made but uh, here's here's one dividing disc here and here's another one with the various divisions and they go on there with four set screws and a real nice sleeve to protect the drawbar that I um, this is mounted on but anyways and here's my if you can see that the milling attachment that will be mounted on this lathe that I don't have the system pulley system for that rigged up yet but anyways this is the part we're focusing on today in this video and I'm gonna let you listen to that and see that work I hope you can see it see that jump in the hole that's pretty snug the last time I did this I didn't even have a break on there and it worked real well but I, I put a break on this one so you can take the break off and and then you can very carefully pull it out of the hole and go to the next one, put the brake on, make a cut, and then take the brake off. But I'm sure if, if I didn't use that brake, that, that tapered pin, will, that's really snug, will work because I've done it before of many years. But I went ahead and put a brake on there to take the stress off the, this pin when I cut. And just to make sure. There we went to the next one, drop right in. Next one. So you can kind of see how that works. And you can just, I can just take an Allen wrench and loosen this set screw here, and this will go um, to other diameters with holes. See, I just, that'll just swing out and in to whatever. Um, whatever holes I choose for divisions and it'll work the same way and this is going to work real nice I pretty much uh, I, I took this made this draw bar with a sleeve on it a washer and this arm is coming out here like this and so I hope you enjoyed this video and it shows that uh, you know I'm moving ahead with the project. Like everybody else, I've got uh, different monkey wrenches in the printing presses that always fall in the way in life, and, and I just keep on going. Eventually, you'll get to where you want to go. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and you have an excellent day, everyone.